Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing and the Death Race. Today we narrow it down to the final 20 cars with the last two groups of round three. First up for group nine, it's the last of Down Squad Racing, team patron Shannon BR driving Snot Rocket, his BMW GT2 M3. He took second behind Mega G in round one and put up 14 points to win his group in round two. The Arlo representative this time is Kay, driving her Audi R8 Spider called Breezy. Kay finished behind now eliminated Magic Mike in round one and smashed her group in round two with 15 points. The last of the ponies from Monster Motorsports, Twilight Sparkle is driving Spike, her Draftinator. TS had to win a runoff for second in round one, but won her group in round two with 12 points. Finally, driving a Zamac Black Widow called Natasha, it's Numskull from Numskull Racing. With his muscle and blown already sitting in the quarterfinals, this Numskull entry won in round one and took second in round two. Shannon and Kay start up front Twilight and Numskull in the back. They're off and Kay gets a nose ahead. She takes the lead and Shannon fights off Numskull for second who rides the wall but recovers. Twilight tries to pass but Numskull with the block. Shannon gets loose, K wins, ooh! Numskull takes second, and Shannon is third just ahead of Twilight Sparkle. A fast and pretty clean lap to get us started. Shannon solidly in second loses a lot of speed in the triangle, allowing Numskull to give him a tap on the bumper and make a late pass. If the final straight were much longer, Twilight probably would have passed up Shannon as well. After one, it's Shannon with two, K four, Twilight one, and Numskull three. Twilight assumes the pole with Shannon on the outside. Lap two is underway and they're even into one. Twilight takes the lead and Shannon spins behind her. Twilight pulls away as Numskull slides to a stop in the back. K spins on the overpass and lap two is going to be all Twilight Sparkle. Shannon crosses backwards for second and K winds up third. Not sure what caused Numskull to stall out, let's take a look at the replay. Shannon spins out, slowing K and Numskull, and looks like he exits turn two wonky and loses momentum before he's able to get it righted. K maintains her one point lead with Shannon and Twilight now tied for second. Points underdog Numskull takes the pole and will start from the front row for the second half. He and K with a strong start. K spins and Numskull rides the top of turn two and takes off. K flying backwards and she nearly drives off the overpass. Numskull with a strong lap three victory. K is second, Twilight third, and Shannon fourth. The only drama this lap occurred when K spun after turn one, and that didn't do much beyond helping Numskull secure a much needed win. K continues the lead and Numskull's win gets him back in the fight, everyone separated by only two points heading to the final lap. Two points separate victory from Agony as points leader K starts on the pole. She gets a good jump, but Numskull right with her. They both get sideways, and the group clusters and slides. Twilight rolls, and Shannon comes to a stop in turn three. This one may be over. K will coast to a lap four and group victory, and Numskull takes second after barely escaping turn three. That's got to be heartbreaking for Shannon and Twilight, as that's surely the end of their tournament. K got turned early, also causing Numskull to get sideways, and the two get locked together, pushed by Twilight and Shannon. They can't save it until they lose so much momentum that this nearly resulted in a quadruple DNF. K with Arlo Racing wins! Numskull survives a lap 2 DNF to move on. May the Schwartz be with you! On to the final group of round three with another Numskull entry, his muscle and blown called Witness Me. Numskull tied Kit Cam's now eliminated car for the win in round one, then tied for second behind Arlo's Carmelo in round two. Speaking of Kit Cam, Miyazaki Cha is his other La Fasta, representing Gen X Vintage Racing. In this car, Kit tied Dangerous Dawn for the win in round one, then beat out Numskull's Black Widow in round two. Driver number three and vapor racing teammate of Dangerous Dawn, it's Sneaky Bob driving Rapid Fire, a lethal diesel. Bob advanced as one of the top two in that round one lethal diesel group, then took second behind quarterfinalist Bam Bam in round two. 
Rounding up the group in round three, it's Natosaurus Rex in a falcon called Nate Knight, representing the venerable team DRT3K. Nate tied Jake Eli, another vapor racing driver, for the win in round one, and took second behind quarterfinalist Circus of Heartbeat Racing in round two. Numbskull and Kid on the front row, Bob and Nate in the back. Numbskull edges out Kid and slides a bit. Nate dives inside Bob for the pass in turn three. They run the triangle single file. Kit gets loose, and here comes Nate. Oh! He grabs second as Numbskull just beats him to the line. That was a great way to kick off group 10. Despite Numbskull's great run from the pole, the story of this lap was clearly Natosaurus Rex from DRT3K, who exits turn one and last, deftly uses his position to sneak past Bob, and gets right on Kit's bumper as they hit the final straight, taking advantage of Kit's wobble and darn near stealing the lap from Numbskull. Watch out for that little guy, he's got some chops. Numbskull on top after one, but this is going to be a close group. Sneaky Bob assumes the pole with Numbskull on the outside. Numbskull again with a nose ahead and he picks up where he left off. Kit spins and holds up Nate. Bob all over Numbskull as they come to the finish, but Numbskull picks up back-to-back -back W's. Kit takes third, and Nate a disappointing fourth. I think Kit's been watching too much Lightning McQueen, because he appears to try to turn right to go left, and it doesn't really work out. Sneaky Bob makes a play for the last minute overtake, but Numbskull holds him off. After two, Numbskull has a commanding four point lead over the field, everyone else tied with four. Nate moves up front alongside Bob with Kit and Numbskull in the back. Nate and Bob dead even into one, and Bob uses that outside momentum to take the lead. Nate dives inside just like on lap one, but this time Bob's ready for it. Nate spins, and Numbskull makes the late pass for second. Another lightning quick lap. Numbskull clinches a top two finish, and Bob will take a two point lead for second into the final lap. Kid and Nate get the final front row advantage, both of whom need a win. Another dead heat, and Nate spins, allowing Kit to pull away. Bob gets Nate straightened out and makes the pass. Kit's gonna run away with lap four. Bob is wild. Ooh, Nate smashes him across the line, probably somewhat out of frustration. Ouch. Numbskull wins group 10, and Sneaky Bob will edge out Kit for second. Well, that wraps things up for the third round of the death race. Congratulations to our top 20, Arlo, Sneaky Bob, Sam Hall, Speedy G, Brother Captain Peter Day, Mega G, Numbskull, Flip, Brutal, Mr. Devilish Dark Q, Jake Eli, Circus, Crystal ZD, Numbskull again, Flip again, Linkster, K, Ironheart54, The Feels, and Bam Bam. These drivers will compete in five groups, and only eight will survive. Congratulations to K, Numbskull Times 2, and Sneaky Bob. This has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the quarterfinals of the Death Race.